and more on that in just a bit. Happy holidays to you. I'm Paul Cicala. But first, let's get right into some minor basketball. Former UTEP coach Tony Barbie against current minor coach Tim Floyd. Auburn versus UTEP. It was the consolation game for the Hawaiian Airlines Diamond Head Classic. And there's Coach Barbie hoping to rally his Auburn squad. The Tigers had an early lead, but then Michael Pettis for the three. Yes, sir. It is 9-8 minors. UTEP is on a roll. Then how about Jaquez Streeter dishing it to John Bohannon today? How you like him now? The minors go up 18 to 16, and then Michael Pettis would feed it to Cedric Lang. That's right. UTEP would take a 37-31 lead into the half, but in the second, Auburn comes out on a run. Kenny Gabriel was playing straight caliente. Heating up first with the long three, and then the alley-oop. Auburn would lead 50 to 45, but down the stretch we go. UTEP got back into the mix. Bohannon would find Cedric Lang. It is 54-50 minors, and with under three minutes left, Bohannon will take it down low to make it 70 to 65. Driving in, and here's the game breaker. Under two minutes left, shot clock winding down, and Michael Pettis nailing the three. Sa sa sa. UTEP holds on for the 83-76 victory. And finally, let's relive former UTEP coach Tony Barbie matching up against current minor coach Tim Floyd. It is time for me to rhyme. And I'll give you the reason, because it's the holiday season. Whether it be twas the night before Christmas or a visit from St. Nicholas, here's a tribute to the fight of the UTEP basketball team tonight. Merry Christmas, everyone. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the gym, Coach Tim Floyd and UTEP were trying to beat him. The stopping of Barbie and Auburn take care in hopes Bohannon was jamming and Streeter's threes were there. Streeter. The UTEP players were nestled all snug on the court while visions of Barbie reflected bad sport. Let's go. Coach Floyd and his boys so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it's UTEP's gift from St. Nick. Aloha. Aloha, Santa hanging loose. The gift of flying like an eagle to the rim in the game. Pater Pete whistled and shouted and called them by name. McCauley and Lang, Tafoya, it's on. Another lead by UTEP, Barbie screaming. Come on. Michael Perez. Michael Pettis spoke not a word and went straight to his work and filled baskets with threes and then turned with a jerk. And Barbie laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up to the basket, Washburn Rose. Barbie sprang, he didn't stay to his team, gave a whistle, and away graduated Culpepper and all the rest for shizzle. I'm former UTEP coach Tony Barbie. But I heard Floyd exclaim, it's a new era, no need to fight. Come on, put up your dukes. Happy Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. UTEP 83, Auburn 76. Uh, I guess it seems like every single time the words come out, they seem to rhyme. And finally, all in all, it was a successful fight night at the Don Haskins Center on Friday. El Paso's very own David Rodriguez stayed undefeated at 35-0 after a stunning knockout of Owen Beck. The bout will definitely be remembered for El Nino's devastating left hook, but don't lose sight of the fact that it was Rodriguez's gamesmanship and compassion immediately after the fight that truly made the champion boxer a champion of the people. It was the shot heard round the borderland. A vicious left hook by David Rodriguez, knocking Owen Beck out. He got hit with a clean shot, and that's that. But what many, including Rodriguez, didn't know at first was after the knockout punch, Beck would stay down on the canvas for several minutes. Many crowd cheers faded to silence as Beck remained on his back. I didn't know it was going to lay him out like that, and, I, and you know what, I wish it didn't. And in an ultimate display of sportsmanship, instead of parading around the ring and celebrating like many boxers often do after a knockout, a concerned Rodriguez went up to Beck to check on him. As Beck stayed down, Rodriguez went to his corner, said a prayer, and remained on one knee until Beck was able to get up. And the way I see it, I'm just fortunate to get out of this fight healthy, and I'm glad that Owen's healthy. Even at the post-game press conference, a humble yet confident Rodriguez steered many of the questions away from himself and back to Beck's health. Let me say something to everybody. Absolutely. I'm just happy Owen is okay. Yes, All right? absolutely. Can we think about that for a second? He was out on the floor for a long time. I'm happy he's okay. Okay, healthy, and back on his feet. And as for Rodriguez, the gracious El Pasoan is back in the national spotlight 
and will continue to gain as much exposure for his hefty heart as he does for his heavy punch. Hmm. That was ringside when it all happened. Certainly a scary moment with Owen Beck down on his back for so long, but great to see him rebound. And it's even a better feeling to see El Paso native David Rodriguez bring much pride to our border. El Nino is now expected to jump into the world's top 10, and hopefully he can get that title shot soon. That's it for now. I'm Paul Cicala for ABC7 Sports. Coming up after the break, Carlo Huelga will have a last look at your weather. We'll be right back. Roberto Alomar and I, we're boys. We go way back, right, Roberto? Paul, you are like a sucking father to me. Thank you for everything you have done for me. <laughs> well, you are very, very welcome, Roberto. But hey, you're older than me. You're the one retiring, so how can I be like a father to you? More like a brother. How's that sound? Does that touch your heart? Paul, you are so valued in my heart. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> well, thank you too, Roberto. I am honored that you to remember me. And hey, thanks for addressing me by my name. You demand. Actually, of course, Roberto was talking about Paul Beeston, president of the Toronto Blue Jays.